In this one, each figure has four parts of a circle in it. And we notice that there are some action going on from left to right and from top to bottom. So from left to right, we notice that the parts of the circle, they are the same size, but they move inwards. So we write move inwards, but they preserve size. While when we go from top to bottom, we notice that the pieces, they stay in the same position, but they get bigger, they enlarge. So they enlarge, but they preserve position. So let's rule out some, obviously it's not going to be this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, or we can notice that this H1 is the same as this one, so we can rule it this one out as well. So we are left between one of these two and it's not completely obvious to me which one it is because they both, both seem to preserve this rule or obey these rules. But we can uh, take a closer look at, at the crosses here and w the position of, of the pieces. In the first column here, the position is on the top. So the first one has position up top and far out. In the next column, the pieces are three three quarters up, so they are placed here and here. And then we need to check the exact position in the last column. And then we notice that the pieces cross the, the cross exactly in the middle here. So it's the same distance from the center of the cross and, and the boundary of the cross. So which one of these are, obeys this rule? This one crosses in the middle, this one is, is closer to the, to the center. So it's not this one, but it's G.